Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, I would like to thank everybody for your warm welcome. Um, thank you for the likes, for the comments, the suggestions, for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to step up my game. I'm trying to post at least two videos a week. I'm trying, that's the keyword. I do have a full-time job, but I do want to put out more content for you guys. So let's go with it. For today's video, we are going to be talking about a very colorful bag from a colorful brand Marc Jacobs but before we go through with the review let me just say it Marc Jacobs has some of the highest quality bags out there me and my mom have been buying bags from the brand ever since they were still called the Marc by Marc Jacobs we both own several bags from the brand I know that the brand um, or the affordable line is now called the Marc Jacobs I know that um, Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy has been doing some changes with Marc Jacobs. I think they're trying to increase the revenue for the brand. I really don't know why, because like I said, the, the quality of the bags that they produce are, are up there. I can even say uh, on par with Coach, the leather they use, how it ages, it actually becomes softer, more weightier, and really just durable as time goes by. And even um, their nylon bags are pretty good quality. My mom has had hers for years now and she still uses it almost every day. Anyway, I digress. Um, the bag that I will be talking about from the brand is just right behind me, right there in that dust bag. Let me just get it for you guys. And the bag is this one. And this is the Marc Jacobs Snapshot Spray Paint Bag. Yes, I had to read that because it's a tongue twister. <laughs> but uh, this is a very colorful bag as you guys can see. This is in the spray paint design. I bought this bag right after it debuted. I usually don't do that. I usually wait for sales. But um, the design of this bag, show you the back as well. It is just very beautiful. I couldn't resist it. And I cannot wait for the sales. I don't think this has gone on sale yet ever since it debut. I just fell in love with the bag. As you guys can see, it has uh, splotches of spray paint all over and it looks very artistic and, and looks very real. Aside from the uh, splotches of paint, this is in color block. As you guys can see, this is in white in the front and the back, the main color. And then you have the black on the sides right there and the bottom as well. This is a very structured bag in Safiano leather. The leather is stiff and really doesn't have much give. Um, so this is a bag that you really can't stuff full. I really only use this bag when I'm bringing my bare essentials. And with bare essentials, I'm talking about my cell phone, my keys, my wallet, and maybe a pack of gum, and that's about it. Otherwise, the zippers won't close. By the way, this bag comes with a webbing strap. It is as gorgeous and as um, colorful as the bag itself. Let me show you guys. And this is the strap. As you guys can see, it has the same um, colorway. So you have the blues, the pinks, the yellows, and the streaks of black. Also has the splotches of paint all over it as well. This one also has the Safiano leather um, as the trimming. So the ends of the of the strap is in Safiano leather in black. And the hardware is in gunmetal. It's really shiny. As colorful as this bag is, it actually goes with a lot of my outfits. It's still mainly in black and white color block with just splotches of um, colorful paint. So it is a very wearable bag still. I've used this bag in a lot of occasions. I've taken it to brunch, to lunches, and uh, even to the grocery store. I don't baby this bag at all. I've actually dropped this quite a bit of times. You know how brunches go. But um, so far, other than a tiny minuscule dark spot in front, it's really still in amazing condition. As far as color transfer goes, there is really no color transfer here. The only thing is, since they used white stitching, or white threads I mean, um, for the contrast stitching design of the bag, that white thread that they used does have um, color transfer. Next up, I'm gonna bring you up close and personal with this bag. I'm gonna show you all the details as well as what fits in this bag. Hi guys, so this is the close-up of the bag. 
So you guys can see this is what it looks like with the strap on. Okay, and let me take it out for you guys. This is what the front of the bag looks like. The side, the back, and the bottom. Doesn't those um, splotches of spray paint look so realistic? Let me give you guys the dimensions of this bag. So for the length of this bag, it's going to be seven inches right here. The height is four inches. And then the depth or the width, I mean, is two inches. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this bag, again, is in Safiano leather. It's very beautiful. So let me show you guys what the inside of the bag looks. Um, again, this has two zipped compartments, the one in the front and the back. So let's look at the front compartment. There you go. There are no slip pockets in the front compartment, and it's just lined with fabric. And then the second compartment. I'm pretty sure the second compartment is a little bit smaller than the first one. And this one has a slip pocket and also lined with fabric. And this is where you're gonna see or find the Marc Jacobs tag. This bag also has one slip pocket here in the back. And let me show you guys what I can fit in this bag. So usually when I use this bag, I use this back zipped up pocket to put my phone in because this is, I think, is smaller than the front zip pocket area. Let me just put it in here. There you go. Um, other than that, I really can't put anything more. Maybe a few cards if I want to, but that's about it for the back area. And then for the front part, I usually put in my wallet, or my card case, I mean, and then my lip balm. I also put my car keys. And like I said, a pack of gum. And even at that, as you guys can see, it is fully packed as it is. So that's really the only items I can put in my bag. And it doesn't look overstuffed. And it looks good. So this is the strap up close and personal. As I told you guys, it has the same colorway as the bag itself. Very beautiful. And the back is black. And you have the Safiano detail, gorgeous. And then this is the gunmetal hardware, gorgeous. Just to summarize, this is a perfect spring summer bag. It is small, but it is very durable. And surprisingly, it holds quite a bit of your bare essentials. The design is very eye-catching and very colorful. Like I said, it's very realistic. And this is recommended to be paired with your bottomless mimosas. Like I said, I've dropped this bag numerous times, so I think it's just perfect for those drunken days. Anyways, that's about it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I was informative. Please like and subscribe. If you have questions, suggestions, or you just wanna say hi to me, please comment down below. I appreciate you watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.